tomato or apple? Choosing one or the other and reaching for it is easy in daily life. But what if one cannot use one's arms, or when items are far away? Such actions originate in our head. Could we tap orders directly there? This is what researchers from Freiburg's cluster of excellence Brain Links Brain Tools are trying. A new test will be conducted today. It shall show how well brain activity, measured on the scarp surface, can control a machine. In order to choose one specific item, the participant will think about moving her hands or feet without actually doing so. The items are, however, not in the same room or even in the same building. They are one and a half kilometers away in the Department of Computer Science. Data will be transmitted via the Internet. The researchers attempt to divide work between humans and machines. The brain produces signals for choosing one of three balls, but the robot arm is responsible for recognizing the objects and planning the action of grasping them. Thirty-two metal contacts absorb extremely weak signals from the scarp surface, which stem from electric brain activity. This measuring technique, electroencephalography, has been in use for 90 years, mostly for medical diagnosis. Coordination is quite old-fashioned, by phone. Hi, Lucas. The experiment can go forward. The participant sees the ball from the robot arm's perspective. A small red dot in the window on the right side shows which one is selected. Below the signals, measured through electroencephalography, are displayed. Once she has chosen one of the balls, the robot arm takes over. The experiment has been successful and brings the researchers one step closer to their goal to develop implants that read orders for movement directly from the brain surface and transmit them to technical systems.